Um, where to begin? Uh, I've been living in Seattle. Um, we just moved back three years ago. We? Oh, my husband and I. Ah. Uh... Michael. Um, we're recently divorced. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's for the best, believe me. So, it's, um, just been me and my housekeeper, Gladys. That's why I'm here. Sunday night, someone broke in. I guess Gladys woke up. Um, there must have been a fight. And, um, he killed her. Oh, oh my God. Are you okay? No, I, I wasn't home. Adrian, I'm the only family Gladys had. I just want justice for her. I, I want to make sure that the best people are working on this. And I, I've been asking around, and everyone says you're a genius. But, of course, I already knew that. Adrian um, helped me out of a jam when we were kids. Oh. About um, what, 30 years ago. April 12, 1972. You remember? I only remember the date and what everybody wore and what everybody said and what everybody did. Here it is. Westover Junior High, 1972. Natalie, don't, don't open that. Natalie, put that back. I command you. <gasps> Sherry, you were so cute. Okay, now where is Mr. Mom? Natalie, just close the book. I mean it. Natalie, Natalie. Okay, that's it. You're fired. <gasps> She's fired. Oh. No, that couldn't be me. It says Adrian Monk. <laughs> oh. 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 Adrian. Mom, everyone's watching. Here's your lunch. It's cut into 10 little squares just the way we like it. And your first aid kit and your toiletry bag. Mom. You'll thank me later. Remember, don't share your food with anyone. Sit near the fire doors. I'll pick you up at 3.04. I'll be wearing an orange blouse. Mom, I know what you look like. I'll be fine. I love you, Mom. What are you doing? Right, sorry. Here he comes. He's like the real life Eddie Munster. Uh, he can hear you. He won't even know what it means. I heard they don't even have a TV. I heard his brother never comes out of the house. I heard they have to memorize the dictionary one letter per month. I heard that they take four showers a day. <laughs> Jerry, I uh, wanted to thank you for recommending that rock and roll record. It was very groovy. I didn't recommend anything. Yes, you did. You were wearing a Led Zeppelin t-shirt yesterday, which is the same thing as recommending them. <clears throat> so uh, I went out and I bought their record, the uh, Stairway Up to Heaven. What did you think? Well, you know, I haven't actually listened to it yet. We don't have a record player. I see it's excellent. I mean, uh, groovy. Yes, you can tell from the cover, they look so groovy. Well, I gotta go. You always turn your lock back to zero. I noticed that, I do that too. So later it's easier to open. Uh-huh. Actually, there are a lot of things we have in common. <sighs> things Adrian Monk and Sherry Judd have in common. You made a list? One, our lockers are right next to each other. Two, we both like the Patty Duke show, even though she has to be lying because they're supposed to be identical cousins, which is <clears throat> biologically impossible. Three, perfect attendance records. And uh, four, neither of us is a date to the spring fling. How do you know that? I happened to catch a glimpse of your weekly planner, and I noticed that you have a <clears throat> babysitting job 
wind up for that evening. Unless I'm wrong, which, you know, I'm not. Hey, Cher. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, I'm going to art class. You want to be my model? Yeah, cool. Uh, goodbye, Adrian. Bye. Yes, I will help you. It's a jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle out there.